Hey friends, this is Vidhan. Welcome you to my channel. Today we will solve a problem of eigenvalues of a matrix. We will find eigenvalues of a matrix. It's from June 2011, part B. It says find the eigenvalues of the given matrix this. The eigenvalues are what? You see that it's a square matrix of order 3 by 3. Square matrix means the number of rows 1, 2, 3 number of columns 1 2 3 are same so the number of rows equal to the number of columns that means it's a square matrix and it's a square matrix of order 3 by 3 so it will have three eigenvalues and that's why each option is containing three eigenvalues now finding eigenvalues of a matrix we can do by two basic methods we know two standard methods one is by using characteristic equation and this is m minus lambda i m is the given matrix lambda is a constant i is the identity matrix finally if this is a matrix this is also a matrix and subtraction of two matrices is again a matrix and their determinant is equal to 0 but one thing is that it is not ideal to give the sign of matrix when we are doing determinant okay so this is the characteristic equation and using this we can find out the eigenvalues and the second is that using characteristic polynomial And that polynomial is that polynomial equation is lambda cube minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus determinant of the given matrix is equals to 0 so this is the characteristic polynomial and this equation is called characteristic polynomial equation so also by using this equation you can find out the eigenvalues of a matrix one thing I have seen that this method is very time saving. This method is very easier and also very flexible because when some tougher problem comes then this method is more use, useful. So that's why we will be solving our problem or we will be finding our eigenvalues using characteristic polynomial. Mostly people do by this method. We have seen there is one video that I have done using this method. I have found out the eigenvalues using characteristic equation but for this video we will solve this problem using characteristic polynomial where s1 is called the trace of the matrix now what is the trace of the matrix trace of matrix is nothing but sum of diagonal elements sum of diagonal elements where s2 is what s2 is called the s2 is not the trace but sum of minors it's not called trace it's sum of minors of diagonal elements now what are minors for that a little view i'll put if there is a matrix having a b c d e f g h i if one asks find the actually minor is found for any element so if one says the find the minor of element a then minor of element a will be just you just omit this line and this line it's i e minus h f i e minus h f you don't need to even even put a here that's important okay suppose one asks you to find the minor of e then you find the minor of e by only omitting this line and omitting this line so i a minus g c that's it you don't have to even put you don't have to even put e here and suppose i minor of i one says then what it is omit this line and omit this line ae minus db ae minus 
db so this is how we find minor well so from this problem we will find we have to find three things the three ingredients are to be found out s1 s2 and determinant of the matrix so s1 is what s1 is simply the sum of diagonal elements here is our matrix diagonal element are 1 1 and 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 3 s1 equal to 3 now s2 sum of minors of diagonal elements now for this element the minor will be omitting this line omitting this line 1 minus 1 1 into 1 minus 1 into 1 for this minor of this one will be omitting will omit this line and we will omit this line so it will be 1 into 1 minus 1 into 1 like this as we understood so it would be 1 into 1 minus 1 into 1 plus minor for the second one for this 1 into 1 minus 1 into 1 plus for the third one this is the third diagonal element so 1 into 1 minus 1 into 1 it is you see 0 okay and next is determinant of the matrix so the determinant of the matrix is it's 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 so it would be 1 into 1 minus 1 minus 1 into 1 minus 1 and plus 1 into 1 minus 1 it's 0 again so we have everything s1 equal to 3 s2 equal to 0 and m determinant of matrix equals to 0 now what we have to do we have to just put things in the characteristic polynomial the standard characteristic polynomial that is lambda cube okay that is lambda cube minus s1 is what 3 3 lambda square plus s2 0 s2 lambda that means 0 minus determinant of m minus determinant of m is 0 and is equal to 0 okay then we have lambda cube minus 3 lambda square is equal to 0 so we have lambda square let us take as common lambda minus 3 equal to 0 that means that we can individually equate to 0 lambda square is equal to 0 and individually lambda minus 3 is equal to 0 so lambda is equal to plus minus 0 and lambda is equal to 3 that's why so plus minus 0 is it's not that means we have 1 plus 0 actually it's root 0 so we will have plus 0 and minus 0 and plus 0 is written as 0 minus 0 is written as 0 and lambda equals to 3 here so these are the three eigenvalues that we got and the answer is 2 2 matches with the answer 0 0 3 so we have found it by using characteristic polynomial and it is easier method you can also solve this problem by using the characteristic equation and you will see that it is really a little hectic it is a little cumbersome and uh, you don't find any convenience in finding eigenvalues using characteristic equation well otherwise you can do it so for now our answer is option 2 thank you